Hi Leo, welcome to this reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more if Leo is your Moon or Rising sign. Um, wow, nice. Okay, so we have the Two of Cups to start. So that's a pretty good start. So you might not see that you and your person are actually on the same page here, that the feelings are mutual, that you're hoping for the same thing at this time. Okay, the Ace of Swords, so possibly there will be communication about this. You might be thinking of communicating, in which case I feel that um, it's probably a good idea. Your person would be happy to hear from you. What I will say, of course, is it is a general reading, so take this reading and make it work for you. Only take the messages that apply, only take things that feel like they fit. Um, you're the, you know, the highest authority on your connection. So maybe your person will communicate with you. And if it's not, it's not about communication specifically at this time, it could be saying that both of you are feeling really clear about the fact that you want to be in a partnership together. You know, you, you want to do this. You feel the same. Okay, we have a five of swords, the seven of wands. So if somebody is blocked here, the other person is um oh no that's not it spirit's telling me that someone is worried that they have been blocked so maybe you've pulled back from social media maybe you've deleted um, an account and your person can't find you and they're thinking maybe it's because you've blocked them um if so they seem to be quite worried about this Oh my goodness the two of cups with the four of wands yeah this communication has been a long time coming with the three of wands in reverse here um yes for some of you not all of you, your person is worried at this point that i'm not sure why what's happened but um that you've you've pulled away you've decided once and for all that you don't want to work on this with the three of pentacles in the reverse they might actually have convinced themselves of something that's not happening. So let's say you just deleted your, uh, your, your account on social media and they've decided that you must have blocked them. So now they're doing this whole thing, trying to manifest you or trying to create an opportunity to bump into you because they think they can't, you know, they can't get to you any other way. And you've decided to write them off when actually that's not true. So if you are thinking of communicating and it makes sense with your situation to do so, I would say go for it. Yeah, look, we have the sun on the back. So this is about bringing in some clarity here because there's a potential misunderstanding that might happen or that could be happening that could very easily be resolved. Um, yeah, okay. So in terms of what's coming in that's really good, I feel that there's um, a stepping onto the same page here. And this has been something you've both waited for for a long time. So let's let's get some more detail here. Okay, tell us about the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands, please. You know, the only major arcana we have so far down here is the Magician, which I think is fantastic. This is talking about um, self-mastery. It's talking about manifestation, having everything that you need, both of you, um, to start bringing in what you want to see in this connection. And I'm not seeing any obstacles at this point that are big enough to get in the way of this energy. Okay, Two of Cups, Four of Wands, please. The lovers in the reverse, yes. So, you may have been through a bit of a rough patch. You may have been feeling disconnected from your person. Maybe there was a falling out. Maybe you just haven't been in touch for a while. And both of you have been exploring the shadow side of this situation. You may have been doing healing, facing wounds, making some, some life choices and changes here. Um... But now it's time to come back together. It's time to move forward. With the Two of Cups, this is, it's perhaps maybe starting again. So if you're already in a relationship, it's bringing in a brand new start, fresh energy. Um, if there's been a period of, of separation, if you're not talking with your person, it's coming back together um, and starting again, building up, you know, from the ground up. And this time with the Four of Wands, there's a stable foundation, there's mutual um, respect there's a feeling of stability so if there was fear 
before, a fear of getting hurt, you know, can you trust the other person, that sort of thing. I think that's being left behind and Spirit's telling me, because you might be hearing this and you're saying, well, that sounds too good to be true. How is this going to happen? And Spirit's saying through changed behaviour. So this is how you will know you can trust this moving forward. You will see different behaviour from your person. And it doesn't have to be something massively different. It might just be that the thing you needed that was lacking before, they're, ab they're able to provide now. Okay, anything else for the Two of Cups with the Four of Wands, please? Page of Wands in reverse. Yes, I think there was a false start in the past. And I actually think it was supposed to go this way because there, there are things here to work through. So... You know, if you've been beating yourself up and saying, oh, I can't believe this happened, I should have done this, I shouldn't have done that, please don't. This was always supposed to happen. If you hadn't have had this false start, then whatever you've both been doing during this um, potential separation or distance with the lovers in reverse, that wouldn't have happened. Um, and you wouldn't now both be in a place where you're ready to come back having grown and maybe you have new perspectives on things. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. You both have clarity about um, any difficulties between you, any personal battles or, you know, demons that you were fighting, any changes you need to make. Yeah, the high priestess in reverse. Absolutely. I'm telling you, communication is coming in or you're getting ready to communicate with your person. And I think it's a really good idea. Um, I think any longer of a period of no communication and it's almost like if you think of the hanged man you know in tarot um it's great take a time out look at things differently gain a new perspective but then you don't want to get stuck there so um for some of you there's been a need for a long time for your person to come forward and for others of you like i said you, you've been thinking about reaching out and i think this is spirit giving you the green light Okay, the King of Swords in the reverse and the Ten of Cups. Yes, yes, okay, this is the thing. Your person's seeing something or reading something about you, the situation, reading something into it, or it could be vice versa. You might be doing the same and coming to a conclusion that isn't correct. So they're building a reality now, a fear, or you could be doing this around... It's not a lie because no one's lied about anything, but a misinterpretation, a misunderstanding. And it can so easily be switched up into a really um, a happy situation with the Ten of Cups. You know, going from the Five of Swords to the Ten of Cups, it's like breathing a sigh of relief. It's happiness, it's joy, it's peace. It's saying, oh, OK, you know, I saw something and I jumped to a conclusion, but I'm really happy that I know what was actually going on. Okay, tell me about the three of pentacles yes the nine of pentacles or nine of coins For some reason somebody here you or your person you're looking at each other and someone's saying crap i think you know you the other person i think you've decided to go your own way but that's not true okay seven of wands and the magician please <laughs> and the other person you know the person who's decided that there's something really dramatic that's happened that the other person has has decided to leave them behind that person is really busting a gut you know trying to to turn this situation around when really there's no there's nothing to turn around it's actually all really really good right now yeah the eight of cups so you are saying or your person is saying um come back you know in the eight of cups we're going off to find happiness to find those two cups that wish fulfillment with our, our soulmate here um, and you're saying where are you going you know I'm here but they haven't actually gone anywhere or if they're thinking this of you you haven't gone anywhere yeah the magician you see someone's really drawing on every single um, resource they have at this time to try and and get the attention of the other person because they really think it's over that someone's walked away so if it's you please know that that whatever's happened it's not what you're thinking it's actually you're in a really good place right now your person hasn't turned their back on you if it's the other way yeah i think you definitely might want to think about reaching out and saying something um, just to let this person know that it's all fine. 
Um, okay, so that's kind of like a heads up, just a, something for you to, to know to maybe prevent a kind of misunderstanding escalating. But I'm really interested in this Two of Cups, Four of Wands energy. So I think we should explore that a little bit more. So let's pull a few more tarot cards uh, and then we'll get some, um, some Oracle messages as well. What's happened here? Okay, so Spirit, can you tell us more please about this Two of Cups, Four of Wands energy? So tell us about um, the mutual feelings here that might be hidden from my viewer that they're not seeing, the mutual hopes, desires, wishes for action. What can you share with us please? The Tower in the Reverse. Okay, so maybe your connection's really, really been pushed to the brink, but it, it's not over. You can still save it, or your person can, can, you know, sort of jump in and save it. We have the page of wands. This is what I was saying. It's okay. Everything has happened how it was supposed to. The page of wands here, yes, it's reversed. There was a false start, but for a reason. Nothing has been wasted. You haven't, no opportunities have been missed. You know, we have the page of wands again. This time it's upright. So now we can move forward. We can try again with lessons learned, um, you know, wounds healed, blockages worked through and released, and um, and more experience. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. What else? So things have been stuck for quite some time, and there might be a feeling of, this is unfair, why is this happening? I've done everything I can. You know, you might be saying, Spirit, I've worked for myself, I've tried to stay in high vibration, I've focused on the things I want to manifest, you know, I've been sending out best wishes for the highest good of everybody involved, that sort of thing. Um, why is nothing happening? And now I feel you're getting your reward, this Knight of Cups, finally in the upright. I don't know how many, you know, for the last five or so readings, maybe even more um, that I've been putting out on YouTube, this Knight of, Cup, of Cups has kept coming out in the reverse because your person has been um, so desperate to express their feelings, whether it's through actions, saying something, showing you something, um, but they've been blocked. They don't seem to be blocked anymore. Okay, what else please? Yeah, absolutely. The King of Swords, justice in the reverse. Yeah, I, like I said, a feeling of injustice here. And this can all be cleared up through communication. We have a Hierophant, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Devil in the reverse. Okay, so this reading feels very clear to me, and it's really odd, because on the one hand, it's very exciting. We're talking about if if you're not together or you're in separation a reconciliation that looks really really stable um you're working as a team so that's you know that's what so many of you guys watching are wanting um if you are together we're talking about moving forward in um, a more harmonious way sharing the same vision so that's great but at the same time the feeling i'm getting it's very calm it's it, it's not i'm not feeling like shouting from the rooftops because I think what Spirit is trying to say is now you're at a place where this gets to be much more straightforward for you, much easier, much simpler, because in the past it's been traumatic, it's been distressing, it's been up and down, up and down, hot and cold, in and out, you know, we have the devil energy, you've both been doing so much work that now it just gets to be calm and peaceful and communication doesn't have to be stressful, you don't have to jump up and down to get this person's attention, you know, um, they don't have to sort of, I don't know, do whatever they needed to do to, to speak to you, maybe they needed to sort of do it on the, you know, slyly or something like that, it just gets to be much simpler. So it's almost like breathing a sigh, I think I said this already, of relief, um, because finally you're both on the same page, finally there's just clear, direct, uncomplicated, communication and a chance for forward movement here with this uh, princess of wands this page of wands if you both want it um so i always feel like i should be more excited like i'm being a bit underwhelming here because this is great but it's almost like a, a deserved reward so it's kind of like well what else when you've both put in this much effort 
you know, it makes sense that, that this would be the outcome. So I guess, you know, I, congratulations, if this is resonating, you've, you've pretty much done it here. You've, you know, I mean, we never sort of complete um, a journey. We're always evolving, but you certainly done enough to for this to be easier smoother happier to actually whatever your vision is here you know to to achieve your goal whatever your vision is for stability you get to have this now the only thing is one of you does need to reach out and um communicate first and the other person i feel is going to be incredibly receptive because the other person is actually worried that it's over so not only are they going to be happy to hear from the person reaching out it's also going to again be a huge relief okay so let's get some oracle messages What do you need to release? Okay, so um, at this point, it could be releasing being out in the cold with all of this snow. This also, in terms of timing, to me, it's making me think of Christmas time. So it's right now. The time is now. And if you're sitting there and you're thinking, well, I can't reach out because my person has blocked me. Well, it could just be, you know, maybe this particular reading isn't for you. Maybe your person, as I said, is thinking about unblocking you. So I think give it a few days, see how this plays out. And a few days from whenever you're watching this. So I know Christmas makes it more of like a timed reading. But um, like I said, the other interpretation here is just it's been cold between you. You know, you might have felt that it's the, the air has been a bit frosty. Oh my goodness, look, communication is key. Exactly. So communication is what's going to bring back warmth into this connection. It's what's going to help you both move forward now. And I just don't think communication has to be as tough. You're not going to have to second guess. If you felt really uncomfortable talking with your person, maybe like you don't know what to say, or you've been nervous, or you feel that they're not interested, it's just not going to be like that anymore. Okay, one more card, please. Okay, fine, we get two. Believe in the impossible. Yeah, and this is the thing. I feel so many of you are sitting here. Um, you're listening to this reading and you're like, yeah, okay, I'll believe it when I hear it. I'll believe it when I see it. And look, your hard work is paying off. Yeah. Ooh, and that's exactly what I was saying. You both have been working so hard on this connection on yourselves. And that's why I'm... I'm the energy I feel, it's more of like a thank goodness, finally, than loads and loads of excitement and joy so maybe you know what happens next is a period of relief of downtime of resting balancing and then comes the excitement um but this is just you know this is so deserved that um yeah it's it's almost in a sense not unexpected i think to be moving forward without these complica complications that have been problematic before because you have actively worked on them. Okay, so before we go, let's get a nice positive message either from your person or from spirit, so whichever comes through, let's see. Oh, actually, after this, I'll do the one question, one card. Okay, so we have, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Okay, so I think there has been space between you recently, um, but I actually think that now is the time to close this space, to close this gap through um, this communication here. So that's what I, you know, at the start with the lovers in reverse, that's what I was feeling and saying that, even if it's been 
difficult between you even if there's been a separation or you've been exploring the shadow side of this so it's been a bit tough you have both still felt that this connection has been present and spirit saying yes there has always been closeness but you did need to have space you did need to go through this um, but now it's a time to come back together okay so i hope this was helpful please let me know in the comments if this resonates if you if you have reached out to your person if they reach out to you um if you just are finding things moving forward in a smoother way um and also let me know if this this kind of very calm serene energy makes sense to you um okay so let's do the one question one card reading so today's winner is sarah or sarah um romatz who asks, will he ever leave um, the third party? So let's have a look and see. So Spirit, what can you say to Sarah or Sarah? So her person, the person she has in mind, will he ever leave the third party? Hmm, okay. floor I can't reach it but we have the magician you know I clarify justice because I can read it a couple of ways I could read it as there's not going to be justice here he can't make up his mind but I can also read it as justice being like an impending divorce or separation so we've got the five of pentacles the hermit and the universe in, in reverse this is the same thing it could be that he's going to separate the five of coins we could be talking about you know if there is a divorce that needs to happen there's going to be money is going to have to invest and lose through this divorce um, putting himself out in the cold the hermit is stepping up taking action after a period of thinking but then we get the universe the world in reverse um, as well so the, the cycle hasn't completely ended i wonder if the reason you're asking is that you've been promised certain things um that he hasn't delivered on so he's saying yes i will leave i will divorce and you're saying okay great when why is this still dragging on so the answer could just be that right now it, it's unknown because he hasn't decided yeah the eight of coins i think he needs to put in a bit more effort to make a decision here the eight of swords in reverse i do see that at some point there is going to be forward movement but spirit excuse me is not saying if that's going to be leaving the third party or maybe uh you know reinvesting i feel right now he's, he's kind of not doing anything it's almost like he's giving his power away with the magician that i wish i could show you but it's it's gone too far um just just be careful that you're not i don't want to say that how can i phrase it i was going to say that you're not being strung along but that doesn't feel right um but you know the magician is someone who is empowered they do know what they're doing so um you know if he's saying oh i don't know or it's out of my control i'm just sort of saying heads up it might not really be entirely outside of his control as the magician um who has everything that they need to make something happen so right now i, I can't say yes or no but spirit is showing with the eight of um, swords in reverse there is going to be some sort of a change um it won't be stuck in the way it feels stuck now forever okay so I'll, i will leave this here thank you everyone for watching i hope you have a lovely weekend um take care i'll see you on monday and we'll do um a deeper dive into what your person is thinking feeling um any actions they might take um the outcome and you know that sort of thing okay bye